Hey guys, it's Laura. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is, um, it's going to be like a memory spread kind of sort of thing. Um, but we're going to do it in pieces ish. <laughs> I don't exactly know how I'm going to do this, but, um, I'm just going to do like backgrounds today. Um, I have older, um, spreads where I'm like filming, um, oh, what you call it? I'm doing all of the backgrounds off camera because they're very old and I'm going to like talk through the plan portion of it, but I'm still working on those and this is more current. So I'm going to catch up on um, getting the backgrounds done and then I'll do like the actual spreads another day. Today is May 17th. So I'm like a little bit behind in May, but not like super, super behind um, because this is like starting with May 3rd, um, because the previous week is like mostly April. So I'll do that on an April, like a different video. <laughs> um, so I have four, four kits for the weeks, the other weeks in May. Um, and I'm going to just do backgrounds today. And then I'm going to talk about assumptions. So I asked on Instagram, um, your assumptions about me, and then I'll talk about those for as long as I can, and then I'll just probably put music over, unless I have something else to talk about that, like, pops into my head. I don't know. <laughs> um, but I'm not gonna, like, uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna do as much as I can background-wise, um, and I'm not even gonna worry about the rest of my plan. So it's mostly gonna just be washi, full boxes, date covers, probably sidebar, that kind of thing, and then um, we'll worry about the rest another time when I actually talk about my plans. So it'll be, like, you'll see these spreads again. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. We're trying a different kind of thing because I'm so far behind in this memory spread planner. This is my Erin Condren um, that I just kind of want to get like caught up and then I'll worry about the other spreads another time um, because I want to be able to move forward. Um, so when I start June, I can like put all of the bases down and then hopefully I can do like keep up with the spread as the week goes on. Um, and then maybe at the end of June, I'll just come back and like do the monthly and then show you all the spreads because I think that's going to be easier for me. So I'm trying to get caught up. <laughs> um, so let me um, just show you the first kit. I have two Scribble Prints Co. Um, and M Crystal Prints and then a Simply Beautiful Plans. That's what I'm using for the month. But I will just show them to you as the weeks come up. So this first week, the third through the ninth is for Mother's Day. Um, so I'm using the Scribble Prints Co. Her Day kit. This is the one from a year or two ago, um, not the most recent release. And I have a mini kit here. Um, this is such really, really, really cute artwork. I love all of the like pink and purple tones together. They're like those orchid kind of shades that I really, really love. Um, not too purpley, even though they have purple in them, but they have like that like orchid tone in the back that I think is really pretty. Um, and then the like little pops of pink on top, which I think is just adorable. <laughs> um, also her hair is so pretty. Like I wish I could get mine to look like that. Like just without curling it. Like you have to curl your hair in order to like get it to look like that if you have straight hair and then it's like second day hair, but like, I don't want to curl my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just whining. <laughs> um, and then we have headers, um, the rounded boxes, and then the like fancy labels and the half boxes, and then checklists and habit trackers, icons, uh, three heart checklists, sidebar trackers, flags, and some labels. Typical Scribble Prints Co. I love the deco. Um, and then some more functional stuff here. All of, again, all of the pink and purple tones, bottom washi, date covers, and your extra full box over there. I wonder if I have something like a quote overlay that I could put on there. And then um, this kit does have gold accents, which is really fun um, because there is all of this like goldish tone um, throughout the kit. So I'm going to get started. And like I said, um, I have assumptions about me that I asked for on Instagram. And I did forget that like, um, I think the washi will probably be like a little bit short on here. Um, I always forget how this <laughs> works, but because this kit is from a year or so ago, I think I'm going to have to like center it 
because of that, which is annoying. Um, I wonder what the new, if you guys have your new planner from Erin Condren, is it still like that? Because that's really annoying. Like, I mean, our, or our new, our shops fixing that in their kits. I think Glam Planner did, but I guess I don't even know. Okay, so I'm at least going to put the washi on that top line. But, um, yeah, I guess, I don't know. I don't really white out in my other planner, though, because I'm lazy, so <laughs> doing this in this planner is not a huge deal. Um, but still, it's just... Like, I wish it just fit properly. Like, why did they have to go and make it, like, a couple millimeters bigger? <laughs> it's just frustrating. Because all of the old kits don't fit. <laughs> um, but, like I said, I don't white out my other planner, so not the biggest deal. Anyways, for my um, assumptions about me, I have um, screenshots of them, and they're up on my computer right now. Um... And they're like completely out of order because I like took screenshots on my phone and then just sent them to my computer to like be able to look at. Um, so uh, some people ask like multiple and they're like, they're just all out of order. So I apologize if I'm answering them in a very funny order compared to when you asked them um, because I know I asked like, like I had a bunch and then, well, I had a, like a, a, a good amount. And then, um, I was like, can I have just a couple more? Um, just because I knew I was doing like multiple spreads in the same video. So I wanted just a few more. Um, so if you asked multiple and then I answer them all out of order, that's why. <laughs> so I've never done one of these videos before and I know they were like popular a while ago, but I figured, Hey, if you guys want to see it, like, why not? It seemed harmless and fun. Um, and you guys were funny with what you said. So, you know, whoops. Um, okay, it's hard to do this, but this part with assumptions, though, because I need to, like, look at the washi. Okay, so the first one is, I think you're getting tired of the dating online-ish. Um, you're ready to find your Prince Charming. Girl, yeah. <laughs> that was like 10 years ago. I was ready. Like, I can't believe I'm still dating online. Like, I can't believe I'm still dating. I can't believe I'm still single. Um, yeah, like, what the heck is my life? This is so annoying, so frustrating. Um, I need to, like, just be, <laughs> um, I, I, I need to just be patient, I guess, and my time will come, apparently, but I'm over it, y'all, over it, I'm so over it, I don't like online dating, I don't like dating <laughs> in general, um, I'm, I'm not a fan at all, like, it's so obnoxious, so, yeah. Very, very true. 100% correct on that assumption. Um, okay. The next one says, I think you're nice to everyone, but if someone does you dirty, you're coming for blood. Um, yes and no. Um, <laughs> let me explain. So, um, okay. So, yes, I'm pretty much nice to everyone. Like, I would say, I would say that's pretty true. Like, I, I try to be really nice to people. And, um, I would say in general, like, yes, I'm, you know, really nice to people. And, um, I try to be helpful and, you know, like generous and sweet and things like that. Uh, so I would say the first part is definitely true, but the second part I would say is false. So I'm, I'm definitely not very confrontational. Um, I don't, 
enjoy conflict. <laughs> um, I have gotten better about being able to talk about issues and like resolve issues and stuff like that in like a more grown up way, I guess. <laughs> um, but I'm not, I'm not very good at that kind of thing at all. Like <laughs> it's definitely difficult for me. Um, but I, oh, is that too much purple? Um, it's definitely not my forte to like address things, I guess. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, I'm not like coming for anyone. What my personality style is like is that I can cut people out of my life with like no second thought, like at all, like no issue whatsoever. Um, and it's a little scary, like how cold I can be. Um, people, mostly guys, <laughs> um, will comment like, do you have no feelings? Like, how can you do that so fast? Like, they just don't understand at all, like how, I don't know if it comes across as like callous or what it is, but um, like just, I guess friends will comment like, like how, how do you not think about them afterwards or like worry or I don't know, like, um, like don't you, I don't know. I guess I I don't really know what the what the continued obsession is with the people after the fact, um, but people are always kind of like shocked by it of like how quickly I can just like be like I'm done and not ever go back on it. Um, like I had a coworker one time that I did not agree with how things were going with students and, um, what he was doing. And I mean, we had worked together for years and, um, you know, we had traveled together, not like as anything more than coworkers, but like we had traveled together multiple times as coworkers and, you know, hung out and we were very friendly with each other and, um, we got along really well and stuff. And uh, we completely disagreed on that issue and we could not come to an agreement and, I was like, we're done. Um, and he kept, you know, kind of coming at me with things. And I was like, we're done. Um, and it, it just, it was over. Um, I was like, no, like, we're legitimately done. Um, this is not, this is not up for any sort of discussion. This is not, like you are not correcting this and ooh this is really cute um and like you're not fixing anything you just keep making the situation worse and it's terrible um we brought in people to like talk to him about it and try to fix things and all sorts of stuff and he just like kept perpetuating things behind the scenes and it was completely inappropriate and I, I just was like, no, this is not, like, this is not okay. Um, and, yeah, I was just like, no, like, it's done and over. Like, this is, we're not continuing this. And I never spoke to him again. Like, he would say hi in the hallway. Like, I never even acknowledged his presence. Um, and people were like... Like, they would ask me stuff, or, like, later, like, people would ask me to, like, recall things about him or, like, about something that happened with him, and I would be like, I have literally no idea what you're talking about, and they would be like, don't you remember? And I'm like, no, like, he is not a part of my brain anymore, like, he's not a part of my life anymore, like, I have no idea. And they were like, so when you cut him out of your life, like, you just, like, erased your brain, and I'm like, it's like an etch-a-sketch, like, I just, like erase like <laughs> you're gone um so no I I don't I'm not coming for blood like 
I don't have the time and energy for that. Like, I have no need. Um, I'm not a revengeful person. I Like, there's no need. Like, not, I have no need for any of that. <laughs> I don't need to get back at you. I, it's just silly. Like, I'll just cut you out. So that's, that's more my style. Um, I just, I, I don't play those games. So, um, but people are always shocked at like how fast I can do that and how, um, like how easy it seems for me, I guess, um, that it just like happens and they're like, what? Like, I don't know. So that's, that's me, I guess. <laughs> um, but it is what it is. And yeah. Or like a, a guy recently, like we were arguing and stuff and he said something. This happened in January too with the guy from January and they would say something and be like, you know, blah, blah, blah in a, our relationship. And I was like, we're not dating. Maybe like the harsh. And I'm like, but we're not like, sorry. Um, so I'm more just very blunt reality kind of like that. So I don't like confrontation, but like, if you're going to be inaccurate about things, like I will put you in your place. So if that's coming for blood, like, I guess, but, um, <laughs> To me, it's just, I don't know, keep it real. <laughs> uh, yeah. Is that, is that bad? <laughs> I don't know. So that's that one. Um, okay, next one. Next one. Um, oops, I think I'm on the Q&A's. Let's see. Um, that's right. I forgot I was going to have Q&A's also. That'll be a different video. Uh, let's see. I don't know what my third header is going to be. So we're just going to put these other ones in for now. Okay, pink, gold. This always takes concentration for me. Pink, gold, something. Pink. Okay. Um, I think you love makeup just as much as you love planning. I do really love makeup. Like, a lot, a lot. Um, yeah, that's probably fair. <laughs> I've loved makeup longer than I've loved planning, so for whatever that's worth. Um, I definitely really, really love makeup. I don't love all makeup. I don't love lipstick, like, at all. Like, I don't, I don't wear lip stuff like at all, like anything colored on my lips, um, basically ever, <laughs> like not even really like clear, clear gloss or anything. Um, I, I have been a little bit lately, but, um, mostly I just wear like Burt's Bees lip balm. Um, I'm very, very picky about what's on my lips as far as what it feels like. And if I don't like it, I like, I'll like rub my lips until it's off because it annoys the heck out of me. I, I don't think we've ever had National Nurses Day um, in our planners before. Cool. Um, I never spend time in this planner because it's all for memory keeping. So I feel like I it's like a foreign planner to me. Oh, you can't even see. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so sorry. Um, but um, I love this planner. That's why it's my memory keeping planner. In case I ever get rid of my Avalon and Ninth planner. Like my weekly, like normal my normal planner, this is the one I'll be keeping. So, okay, these headers are just a smidge short. It's really, really annoying. Um, yeah, it's really annoying. They're just a hair, just a hair short. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't love, um, what was I saying? <laughs> I don't love a uh, lipstick of any kind, lip liner. I don't wear any of that, but eyeliner, eye shadow, mascara, gotta have my brows done. 
I was talking to a girl at my Pilates class recently about, um, she kind of has like the same hair color as me. And we were talking about having like blonde, like lashes and brows and stuff like that. And, um, she gets her brows and lashes dyed and she was telling me that it lasts five weeks for her because she babies them. And I was like, what? Like I've always been told it only lasts two weeks. And I was like, I was not ever willing to pay. Why do I have fuzzies everywhere? Um, I said I was not ever willing to pay to only have like lash and brow dyeing to last only two weeks. And she was like, yeah, I baby them and I get about five weeks out of it. And she's like, obviously, you know, it fades after about two. She's like, but I typically get about five. And I was like, girl, I'm like, I'm going on vacation soon. I'm like, I, I don't know that I would do it, you know, every, every, um, like all the time because I can just wear like mascara and stuff. But I was like, especially for like vacation, um, I was like, I would love to be able to have my lashes and my brows dyed. Um, and have that done <laughs> so that they were just done. Um, especially like for swimming and stuff. I was like, Ugh. so she gave me the place that she goes because like getting getting brows dyed not a huge deal but lashes like you can literally go blind um so I was like I would never go to a place that like somebody hadn't recommended to me and that like I know somebody is like actually gone to like I would never just go off of like a Yelp recommendation or something um because that's terrifying to me. So I was like, it's so cool that you've actually like gone here. And she was like, oh my gosh, they're amazing. Like I totally recommend them. I go every time. So I was really happy to have met her. <laughs> and because she, her hair is so similar to mine. Um, and like her stuff, like her eyes looked really good. So because she went to Pilates with no makeup on. So I could see them. <laughs> um, so anyways, I'm totally off topic, but well, kind of, sort of, but I was, like, really excited, because I don't want, like, tattoo, like, I don't want to get microbladed, like, I have brows, like, I have brow hair, um, but I always have to put makeup on, because they're platinum blonde, <laughs> so I was really excited to meet her, and, like, find something out about that, so I may try that, especially to go on vacation, so I will see about that very, very soon, um, anyways, yes, I love makeup, Love, love, love. Okay. Um, let's see. Next one. <laughs> this one's kind of similar. Um, you have a hard time dating. Um, yes and no. Like, I have a hard time meeting guys. I have a hard time, um, like, finding guys that like me. <laughs> like, that kind of thing. Yes. Um, I don't have a hard time, like, on dates. Um, like I don't, I don't particularly find that difficult. Um, I'm trying to find a spread that like is a little more recent. Okay. So two full boxes, deco, washi, and my schedule. I think I'm going to do the purple because the gray is kind of blah. Um... And then my full box. I mean, I guess I can just stick this at the bottom whether I have an overlay or not because it looks very similar to the washi. So I guess there's that. So it'll be a full box and or like the washi. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, I have a, I have a hard time finding guys. So there's, there's that part, but like actually being on a date, like is not difficult for me. Um, and I don't typically like, I don't know, that part of it is not a huge issue. Um, but yeah, like finding a guy to date is difficult for me. <laughs> um, so yeah, I would say so. Um, do I want the pink this week, Heather? Wait, I don't mark. Uh, 
I'm doing deco in my sidebar, not, not my work from home. Okay, that will be for my YouTube schedule, just for memory keeping purposes. And then I think I'll put deco in here because even though this is a full box, it's very kind of plain. Um, I mean, it has pattern, but it's not super decorative, I guess. Um, yeah, I think that works. I was just organizing leftover headers by color that didn't have a full set. My full sets are stored in a different little album thing. This is just a reusable sticker album. Um, but I was sorting them by color and I was thinking this would be like super easy to use for this sort of thing, which is great. Um, just for, you know, finding the color you need. I don't think that's quite right though. Maybe that one purple I can use, but there's already a lot of purple right there. So I do have a ton of pink though. Ooh, this color is quite nice. And I have some like silvers. But those are cute too. Although the kit has gold, I forgot. I forgot, I forgot, I think I had, okay. Yeah, I think we'll do, I think we'll do some of these purpley pink colors. But it just kinda, they were taking up space, like, um, in the album storage that I had, where I keep full sets of headers, but they're not full sets. So it was like, I didn't know what to do with them because I use them, especially for stuff like this. But <laughs> I was like, I don't, I don't know what to do because they're not full, so... I was struggling to like put them somewhere. Oh, it's such a good color. Okay, and we're doing gold. Okay, so yeah, my last assumption was you have a hard time dating. I think I answered that one. The next one is you won't waste your time on stupid guys. I wish that I could say that that wasn't true, but I have spent a great amount of time on <laughs> stupid guys, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I, I really wish I could say that that wasn't true. <laughs> um, I need like to know how big like a full box is um yeah I really I really wish I could say that that was not true but unfortunately I'm not always great at ending things or um I don't know. <laughs> that sort of thing, I guess. <laughs> um, knowing when to end or knowing that I shouldn't start. And I'm getting better, I would say. The last guy I 
I didn't even date him, but like went on a date with, um, he lasted two dates. So, and I, I pretty much knew I shouldn't probably have even given him a second chance, but, um, like to go on date two. Um, but date one was confusing. The end of it was very confusing. Um, and so I was like, okay, we'll give him one more chance and ended things after, after date two. I think those headers are quite crooked. I probably should be lining them up like on the line, even though the spacing is a little off. I'm not using any like check flags or anything, so I don't know that it's really gonna matter. So if I can pull these up. Now that I think about it, I probably wouldn't even need three sections because really it's like full box and then the rest of the day. But while we're here, Cause I'm not using any checklists, so why do I need three? But I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've definitely wasted too much time on stupid guys. So uh, no, I'm getting better though. Pray for me. <laughs> um, pray for me to trust my instincts, and I'm also trying to decrease my BS uh, tolerance, like cut my losses sooner, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there's that. Okay. Um, I think, I think those are all my assumptions. Wait, this can't be right. I will probably put like a month sticker up here and I will still look to see if I have something to put over this. I don't know if I do. And then I need date numbers and then I will probably put a Simply Gilded Washi at the top here. But I want to see what the rest of this looks like because sometimes it gets to be a little much. So it may be that I need a little bit more calm down here. Um, and we will also see how the three sections goes because like I said, I don't know that I really need three sections. I might just need two, so especially because I put the boxes at the top. Um, I'm trying to think of what I did. Yeah, I definitely did three sections before, but I don't know that I really need that. Okay, so that is the first kit. So let me upload this footage, and we will get started on the next one.